So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there, this is Robin Norgren. I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. This is episode two of my series called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. Um, it was translated by Daniel Ladinsky, um, translator of The Gift. And I'm telling you what, these next few poems I'm about to share Oh man, I hope that it brings you as much joy and peace as it did me when I first read them. So again, these um, select poems are from um, the Sufi um, saint named Rabia of Basra. And so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one is called My Poems Attempt. All of what I would want my child to know, my poems attempt. We are infants before each other, are we not? So vulnerable to each other's words and movements. A school I sat in cured me of hurting others. I've come to see that all are seated at his table and I have become his servant. Sometimes God is too shy to speak in public and he pinches me. That is my cue to fill in the blanks of your understanding the best I can. This one's called, If I Did Not Pray. I could not move against this wind if I did not pray. And all that is said of me that is untrue would make lame my gait if I could not free myself from the weight of others' malice. I could not move against all his light if I did not pray. See how things become, what a change can happen when we find a way to keep him close. This one's called trying to work in. Once I heard two camels talking. They were complaining about all the weight they had to carry when they crossed the desert. And they were especially peeved about that new camel whose only load was the master's young daughter who would often pet the camel and even sing to its sweet songs. While they had to often feel the whip of men and listen to them tell cruel stories of romantic exploits. An older camel was overhearing the chat as I was and spoke saying, you know, it is our habit to bite when we are grouchy. And just yesterday, I saw you snap at that man who whipped you. Maybe you shouldn't bite. Maybe the master has two daughters who sing and pet. And although this may be stretching things a bit, I am reminded of some words of wisdom I've been trying to work in somewhere for days. Those who are trusted by others, God trusts. And here's one final one called Cherish Myself. I know how it will be when I die. My beauty will be so extraordinary 
that God will worship me. He will not worship me from a distance, for our minds have been, will have wed. Our souls will have flowed into each other. How to say this, God and I will forever cherish myself. Thanks so much for listening in. If there's someone you think would be encouraged by this podcast, please make sure and share. And you can subscribe to any podcast venue that you enjoy listening to.